To you guys, he's simply known as the cameraman. Uh, many times in the comments, you guys have praised his work, the angles that he gets. Uh, a lot of you guys have said, who is this guy, man? How does he rock up every single day uh, to record Ivan? Um, what's the setup? Um, you guys call him the cameraman, but this man to me is a best friend. In fact, I would say he's a brother more so than a friend. I don't think friend summarizes our relationship over the years well enough. He's a brother and he's also a kum. Uh, for those of you guys that are from Yugoslavia, ex-Yugoslavia, you, you will understand what that means. Kum in English means godfather. I am the godfather to his first child. Um, and today, uh, the cameraman was blessed with a, another child. Uh, and so the whole day today, we were expecting the good news. The cameraman and I guess the camera woman were in the hospital doing their thing. And the whole morning, I'm kind of thinking about what I'm going to do in terms of training today. I was kind of restless, really happy, lots of energy. Uh, so I decided to go to the gym. The only way I know how to contain myself before celebrating such news um, is to do the thing that I love to do most. And that's the train. Um, I know the cameraman would love to be in the gym with me. And so I kind of felt his energy. I felt everyone's energy, the whole household. Everyone was really, really happy about, you know, the expecting news. And so I went to the gym today feeling upbeat, feeling happy. And I produce what you guys read on the, on the title of this video. 265 kilo deadlift, excuse me, 265 kilo deadlift uh, came out of nowhere. Usually when I said the 250 and the 260 kilo deadlift, in fact, even the 210 kilo squat, I'm always kind of feeling off, either from a night shift or something has happened that's thrown off my food, my sleep, my something like that. Today was completely opposite. Everything was mint. Perfect day, perfect temperature, perfect sleep, perfect food, incredible impending news on the horizon just feeling incredible. Went to the gym and the bar felt light, man. I feel like I could, throw, I could have thrown it through the ceiling. Um, 60 felt good, 100 felt good. I knew today was gonna to be something special. Um, it just goes to show you, you know, how powerful our emotions are, you know, how powerful love is, how powerful hate is, if, if you wanna use that word as well. To me today, the whole day just feeling love, feeling energy, feeling fire within me, like life is great. Um, I wasn't expecting to feel like this uh, in the gym. I thought I was gonna feel sluggish because I'm just high on happy hormones and I always thought the, the, the ugly hormones, the, the bad hormones, are, you know, the, the cortisol, the, 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 ster the steroids, the um, adrenaline, those are the ones that make you feel really good. These are the hormones that kind of get us up and about. Certainly, I felt that after night duty. I felt that after, you know, uh, not sleeping, not eating a whole bunch. That's how I said the 210. That's how I said the uh, 250 kilo squat uh, uh, deadlift, the 260 kilo deadlift. Everything that I've ever done that's really kind of been impressive to me seems to be on days like that are not good. Today was completely opposite. Bouncing my way into the gym, bouncing my way to the bar, just felt strong from the get go. The power of love is greater than the power of all those negative emotions. I felt incredible today. Um, when you're feeling crap and you go to the bar, it's almost like a surprise when you do something really good. But today, everything was feeling good. And on top of that, the cherry in the cake was a 265. Um, I want to congratulate the cameraman on the arrival of his second child, uh, it's a special moment. I've got two kids of my own. I know exactly how he's feeling, probably even better than the first time around. Because the first time around, you're always feeling anxious, you're feeling nervous about what's happening, um, lots of worry. I think this time around, he absorbed, as we say, stopped and smelled the flowers on the way. You know, he, he absorbed all the positivity uh, from the experience. Um, it goes without saying, man, I wish the little man I want to say a little man, but I'm thinking to myself, it's probably going to be a bigger, bigger man than me and you one day. And the fact that these videos are probably going to outlive me and him and a lot of you guys that are listening, I could basically use this video to talk to him directly. One day we're going to sit down with this little man or this big man uh, and I'm going to have a cold beer with him and I'm going to throw this video up and I'm going to explain to him how I got to the 265. I'm going to explain to him the energy that I felt on the day of his birth. I think this, this platform, this thing that I'm doing here is, is an incredible, incredible experience and 
as I'm kind of talking into this phone right now, I'm imagining, I'm imagining a teenager, I'm imagining a young man sitting next to me, listening to a video that I made today, maybe some 20 years or 15 years ago. Um, and I'm telling him about what he's seeing on the screen. I can't wait uh, to tell him and the rest of the kids in the family all of my secrets, all of the moments where I felt I'm onto something. I want to I pass all this on. And part of the stuff that I'm doing with this YouTube channel, with, this, with these videos, is to basically share everything that I kind of go through in this passion of mine. To me, this thing is going to be there no matter what. It's just whether I share it or not. Um, it's, it's really interesting how I'm thinking about it right now. Like, I can't wait. Like, I think, I don't know if this is a right thing to say or not, but I, I have a feeling that my opportunity to do wonderful things in terms of sport has passed. I can't set any world records. I can't make the NBA team. I can't make Barcelona football club first 11. Like all of that stuff has passed, passed on, passed, passed me really. Uh, but now I feel like immense energy to pass everything that I know about sports and the barbell sports and how to squat really uh, onto my son, onto my daughter, onto the kids and to the rest of the family. Certainly this new fellow that's coming to the world today. Um, that's what I feel in my heart. That's what I want. I want to throw this video on and I want to share a beer with him one day and actually giggle about how it's weird that I'm talking to him through the screen and also talking to him as we're having this beer. So it makes me incredibly happy, makes me incredibly proud for what I'm doing here. Um, these experiences that I, that I have and that I share with you guys is something that it's incredible to me. I never, I never thought that these things were going to be shared. I always thought this was going to be a private thing, man. It was going to be just me making these videos for me to review five or ten years on. Now I'm making videos and a lot of people are finding use uh, from them. Uh, so it's a really cool, really cool vibe. It's a happy vibe and it's, it makes me kind of really happy to know that great performances can happen, not just when you're feeling under the weather in terms of all of the uh, adrenal things that are going on secondary to night shifts, food, all these types of things that you can actually produce really good results when you're feeling really happy on top of the world, happy for your best friend, happy for your kum, happy for everyone involved. You know, going to the gym like a freaking man with a, with a head on fire. That's how I felt. Everything felt strong. Um, I felt like the little man was with me next to the bar as we were pulling the bar together. That's how it felt. It's an incredible kind of like almost like an out-of-body experience. Um, you know, as I'm sitting there setting up the camera, I'm thinking to myself, uh, the cameraman would have been here, you know, doing his thing. Uh, but instead, he's, he's doing his thing in the hospital, you know, increasing the, the, the army size. He's getting another iron brother uh, into the world. Um, I can't wait. Simply, like, I cannot wait for that next generation to kind of get involved in sports. Um, I can't wait to be that sports dad i want to coach the basketball team i want to coach the football team i want to be involved i want to be that resource for everybody i don't want to push anybody to do anything even if they want to play sports that i don't want to play i never liked i just want to be there for them um, and something that i've kind of realized in the five years that i've been a dad um, if you do things at home like weightlifting or whatever whatever you're doing you know these kids man they're like sponges they just absorb everything you do you know my, my son came in today after school, and I already went to the gym before, while he was at school, came back, as soon as he went through the door, he ran into the room, took his uniform off, and he put his uh, you know, no sleeve stop on, kind of like a singlet. He was like, Dad, let's go train. And so I've, I've come back into the garage, and I actually recorded that one of his sets. He's like, let's do bench press. That's the first thing that he said to me, let's, let's train. And where does he get that, get that from? I've never said to him, let's go train. Many times I say to him, um, little fella, it's too hot outside. It's too cold outside. It's too windy outside. Just stay inside. Be with you know, be with mom and, and, and your little sister. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he's been want, always wanting to come out. Wanting to come out. The first thing he does when he gets to the door is, I want to go lift. And that makes me so happy because like, I sometimes struggle with myself to like keep myself away from these things, man. Because I like I squat every day, man. That's enough. That's enough. Like you can't do anything more. You're already doing a lot. Um, but now like I can. I can relive it even more. Like I, I can do more because my son wants to train. My daughter wants to train. The cameraman's kids want to train. You know, there's a third friend in, in our little group. The three of us kind of grew up really close together. There's a, there's a third 
you know, I guess second cameraman in, in this mix. And he's got a couple of kids. And so imagine just like a whole freaking weightlifting club. Everyone's squatting every day. Man, like that's crazy. That's crazy to me. And it's, it's like I can just consume weightlifting, barbell lifting strength, scarring character upping maxing like non-stop like to me it's like i love upping my stats uh, but there's only so much you can do per day to up your stats but to think that i've done my, uh, my, my section of upping my stats that i can focus on somebody else and somebody else somebody else it's like man that would make me the happiest to see my my kids um my nephews my nieces all around me get into this stuff and come to me for, as a resource no, I'm not a world record holder. I'm not anything special, but I know a few things and I've been around this for a little while and I've learned a few things. And so basically what I can do as a, as a, as a minimum, it's teach them not to do, teach them the mistakes uh, to avoid the mistakes that I've made. You know, you don't have to be a world record holder to teach somebody something. Mate, I've done this and I did it for freaking a whole year. It doesn't work, man. Take my word for it. I did it really, really hard, really well. It doesn't work. Don't do that. And so he can go away and do something else, try something else, knowing full well that what I did there is not worth it because, you know, uncle or dad's already put the time in it. Does, that particular experiment doesn't work. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful feeling to know there's, uh, there's more to be done here. I remember seeing videos from Ivan Abajev, the Bulgarian lifting coach, basically the grandfather of all of this stuff, all of this type of high frequency training. At least to me, I mean, maybe some guys before him have done this stuff, but squat every day, you know, Bulgarian method. He's the, he's the guy, he's the author that did this. I remember seeing the, the, the first few videos that I've ever seen him. He was like that guy on a stool in the corner of a gym watching his guys lift. And I'm sure you know, the dude's in his 70s at this point, 70s or 60s, late 60s, 70s. I'm sure in, in his mind, he wants to go out and train. You know, he, these people love this stuff. Like me, I love this stuff. But, you know, time passes, your, your physical capabilities past to, to a certain extent and you can't you know snatch freaking 170 kilos anymore so then you enjoy what you love to do through other people you teach and that's i think the the goodness of all of this uh, and today we've got another iron warrior another iron brother into the mix um it's just a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing and that that whole energy today was just with me the moment i opened my eyes i'm like okay what am i going to do today you know covid around here has been crazy uh, it's been going crazy. Numbers have, have just been through the roof. This is why I've kind of stayed away from from gyms altogether. Uh, but now, kind of the, the rates are kind of dropping back down to some sort of normal level. Um, so I thought, man, I, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta go to the gym. And, and the, the gym is, you know, I mean, you have to understand. Like, I train in my garage all the time. Nothing's happening. There's no music. There's nothing. All I hear is my neighbor birds singing around, flying from tree to tree. I hear the the, the leaves. So rustling in the wind, the wind, all this sort of stuff. That's all I hear. I'll go into the gym today. The music's pumping. People are bouncing around the place. Everyone's energetic. I come in there and I'm like, man, I'm already high as hell, man. I'm already high as hell from just what's happening in my life. Then I hear the music. Oh, man. It's just I felt like I was maxing it, man. Maxing it. Just drop the clutch from freaking 10 grand. Let's go. Just send it. Uh, incredible day today. 265. It came out of nowhere. The best I've ever kind of been doing in the garage has been 250 for the last month or two, maybe last month. Um, you know, I never really felt all that excited to do 265. 265 moves kind of okay today. You have to understand that there's no picking block as well. The picking, the picking block was done basically from nine o'clock in the morning today when, when I kind of thought, started thinking about the cameraman and his expanding family. Uh, that to me just, I just imagined you know, myself in that situation, how happy I was. And I mentioned the love that he must be going through and all of that. Oh man, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. So there's another nephew in the family, another iron brother. Um, like I said in the video, man, you and I are gonna be watching this shit in 15 years time or 20 years time. And I'm gonna be telling you from both ends in real, real life and through the screen, how amazing today was for both your dad and for me and everyone else involved. Um, that's going to be one, one cool day. Having a beer, talking about a PR, talking about a, I guess, PB, personal birth. <laughs> oh man, what am I talking about? 
it's going to be cool. We're going to share some, some laughs in, in the years to come about this. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, man, I'm onto something. I'm onto something and I'm going to tell you all about it. And hopefully in 15 years time, I have a damn 300 kilo squat and I have a 300 kilo deadlift. I think the deadlift is going to be there and I hopefully have 180 bench, man. And then we can laugh at this video for even another reason. <laughs> To finish this video off, I have to mention another name. Another name popped up on the Patreon list, Amit Gruel. Uh, I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for jumping onto the list where it seems to be lots and lots of people. Four pages of people are now uh, supporting me, following on this journey. Um, it's, it's a special feeling, man. It's a special feeling. I literally say this to you guys all the time. I feel like I've won the damn lotto. There's so much positivity, so much positivity around me. I almost feel guilty. Why me? Why do I have so much support? Why do I have so many good people in my life? Um, it's, a, it's a special feeling. So to the little one, we're going to be talking, man. We're going to be talking and drinking that beer. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.